Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kay Figuration and thank you so much for clicking this video. For today's video, I'll be sharing with you my Watson's haul. But before we proceed to that, I hope you could click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell on the side so you'll always be updated on my new videos. Just a disclaimer guys, itong mga products na ipapakita ko sa inyo, hindi ko sila binili ng sabay-sabay. Binili ko sila paunti-unti starting nung December hanggang ngayong February. I hope meron kayong magustuhan dito sa mga products na ipapakita ko and excited na ako i-share sa inyo kung ano yung Watson's haul ko. Let's start off with this L'Oreal Rouge Signature Matte Lipsticks. I first saw this sa IG story ni Heart Evangelista and eh, nagandahan ako dun sa shade na ginagamit niya and sabi niya, it's ultra pigmented yet super light on the lips. So unlike yung, sabi dito matte lipstick pero pag nilagay mo siya sa lips mo, hindi mo siya feel na matte lipstick siya because it's super hydrating and super light on the lips. I've got four shades and ang shades niya ay uh, 115, I am worth it, 119, I dream, 1 to 1, I choose, and 1 to 4, I embrace. So, I've got this per tube for 390 pesos. Hindi ko alam kung yun talaga yung original SRP niya or kung naka-sale ba siya. But, ayun, yun yung pagkakabili ko sa kanya, 390. So, iswatch natin yung ibang colors. Okay, so this is how it looks like. And ito yung shade na I am worth it. Ito yung shade na ginamit ni Heart dun sa IG story niya. It's color red, and if you can see, yung wand niya is like that. Parang the same dun sa Maybelline. Ayan. So, let's watch it. You know. Look at that. Tapos pag sa lips mo to nilagay, super light lang yung feeling. According to its description, it says that it's ultra pigmented, Pero for me, kailangan ko ng two swipes bago ko ma-achieve yung color na gusto ko. Hindi ko na isuswatch yung ibang lipsticks para just in case na gusto nyo yung i-review ko to, doon ko na lang siya ipapakita sa next video natin. Guys, ayan o, pakita ko lang sa inyo. Tinanggal ko na siya pero yung shade na yung worth it, nag-leave siya ng stain on my hand and ayaw matanggal. Ayaw talaga niya. So ayan, nag-leave siya ng stain Pero you need na i-layer it para ma-achieve mo yung color na gusto mo. Okay, so the next products that I'll show you are from Maybelline. So first is this one, the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. So this one, ito yung parang pink bato or peach color. This one is their washable version. Isang variant, which is the light blue or the teal yung color niya. That's the waterproof mascara. I also have that. Hindi ko lang siya makita dun sa kit ko. So, this one hindi ko na siya inopen kasi it's washable. So, hindi ko sure kung magagamit ko siya. Baka isama ko to sa pag-giveaway ko sa inyo. So, this one retails for 399 pesos. So, si Maybelline, palagi rin siya nagsisale para siyang si L'Oreal. So, if you want na makatipid, hintayin nyo na lang yung sale nila sa Lazada or dun sa mismong Maybelline counter sa mga malls. By the way, guys, yung Total Temptation line nila is so good. Ako, I personally like it. If you love heroin make, magugustuhan mo rin to. Although, mas maganda si heroin make. Yung waterproof version nito, pag gumamit ka ng oil-based makeup remover, matatanggal naman siya kaagad. Or yung Clean It Zero na Balm, the pink one, natatanggal niya. Unlike yung heroin make, na kailangan mo talagang bumili ng uh, separate mascara remover for that. Kasi sobrang ayaw niya talaga matanggal. Kaya yun yung na-stress ako pag ginagamit ko yung heroin make ko. Kasi ang hirap-hirap niyang tanggalin. So, minsan parang nasasama na rin yung original lashes ko. Another advantage of this Total Temptation Mascara from Heroin Make is that this one is readily available sa mga malls. Okay, so another product na nabili ko from Maybelline is yung Maybelline Fit Me Blush nila. And I've got three shades. This is in Nude, Peach, and Wine. Yung wine shade, medyo nahirapan akong... Bilin to kasi lagi siyang sold out. Yung peach lang tsaka yung nude yung palaging available sa Maybelline counters. So I guess nung during Christmas time, naka 
ilang balik ako sa Maybelline counter bago ako finally nakabili nito. And this one, nabili ko siya sa Robinsons Metro East. So, sa Metro East doon, marami silang stocks. So, this one is the peach. Ayan. Kita nyo ba? Peach. This one is nude. Ayan siya. Yung, yung nude shade, parang merong something na nag sparkle Ayan yung nude. This one, ito yung wine. Ayan. So, yung wine, ibang klase talaga yung shade niya. No wonder kaya siya laging sold out. Ayan siya. You can also mix this, ah. Pag nilagay mo sa face mo, pwedeng kunyari, ito yung ilalim. Tapos, itatop mo yung nude mo. Or, yung peach yung ilalim, tapos ilagay mo siya ng nude sa ibabaw. Maganda yung combination din niya. Now, let's move on to a different brand. Itong haul na pinapakita ko sa inyo is kinategorize ko siya based on brands. So, this one, sa Everbilena naman tayo ngayon. Sa Everbilena, medyo marami akong nabili kasi inabangan ko talaga yung collaboration ni Chris Aquino with them. Let's start with this powder foundation. This is in the shade Lifetime. I think ito yung middle the shade. Tatlo kasi yung shades niya. So, parang ito yata yung pang na. But I'm not sure with that, ha. Nakalimutan ko na. Kasi, December ko pa ito nabili. Tapos, hindi ko na rin alam yung price niya. Kasi, natanggal ko na yung wrapper. Naka-product niya. It's color black. And when you open it, ayan, may kasama pang ganyan. If you will notice, yung pinaka-powder niya, may nakalagay na name ni Chris. Ayan, nakalagay Chris. And then, when you open it, nandito yung sponge. So, ito nagamit ko na to one time. Yeah, that's it. It's so cute. So, next one, yung mga blushes. Meron siyang tatlong blushes. And sorry, natanggal ko na ulit yung price. Hindi ko na alam kung magkano siya. Here are the three shades ng blushes ni Chris Aquino under Ever Belena. This is First Love. New Love and Lasting Love. So, just like the powder foundation, meron ding nakalagay na name ni Chris dun sa mismong powder blush. So, iswatch natin siya isa-isa. This one is First Love. Ayan siya. Ulitin natin. First Love. Next one is New Love. Ayan, this one is nice. And the last one is Lasting Love. Among the three shades na sinwatch ko, parang itong New Love yung magugustuhan ko. I haven't tried this one yet, so kapag na-try ko na, i-update ko kayo. Okay, so this one is the Brow Liner and Brow Mascara. This comes in two shades. Ito yung two shades niya. This one is Beyond Brown. Tapos ito, I forgot na ako ano yung name niya kasi natapon ko na yung box nito and ito yung ginagamit ko. So if you will open it, Yung one side niya is the brow liner. Ayan siya, yung end niya. Retractable din siya. Ayan. So, ito, gamit na gamit ko na rin to. And yung other side niya is brow mascara. This one is the lighter shade, and this is the Beyond Brown. Next is this Crease Matte Lip Liner, and this retails for 195 pesos. I've got two shades. This is Lucky, and this is Love. Akala ko walang name yung packaging niya, pero meron pala nandito sa baba, oh. Maliit na kasulat, Lucky and Love, and it's so cute. Yung collection ni Chris Aquino, yung collaboration ni Chris Aquino, ang cute kasi ang daming hearts. Eh, ako, favorite ko yung hearts. So, kaya I made sure na makabili ako nung sa collection niya. So, ito yung Lucky. New shade niya to. Swatch natin siya, guys. This one is Lucky. And this one is Love. Yung matematic na lipstick na Love... That's my favorite red lipstick of all. 
This one, hindi ko pa siya natatry gamitin. So, let's see kung paano yung performance niya kasama yung kapartner niya na Matematic Lipstick. Now, we're moving on to the next brand, which is the Bill K Cosmetics. So, this is the Bill K Cosmetics All Day Matte Liquid Foundation. And I've got two shades, Porcelain and Sand. So, una kong binili yung Sand. And medyo maitim siya sa akin. Nag-oxidize siya on my face. So, I've got the lighter version, which is the Porcelain. And pinagbimix ko na lang yung Sand and Porcelain para ma-achieve ko yung tamang foundation color for myself. So, ito yung packaging niya. It is housed in a glass bottle and meron siyang plastic na cover. This one is in the shade sand and ito yung porcelain. Tapos meron itong SPF 35 and it gives a second skin look. Alam nyo yun, yung parang sobrang fresh, fresh yan lang yung dating nyo. So kapag gusto ko na light lang yung makeup ko and mukha lang akong fresh, ito yung ginagamit ko. Pag gusto ko na parang dewy-dewy yung look ko, hindi ako naglalagay ng setting powder and ang sobrang dewy niya nakakatawa. Ginamit ko ito sa Baguio and nagustuhan ko siya. <laughs> gusto mo naman na matte yung finish sa face mo, iset mo lang siya with setting powder. Next is the BLK Cosmetics 2-Way Powder Foundation and I'm in the shade Porcelain. So this has SPF 15 naman. When you open it, ayan siya, medyo madumi na siya. <laughs> Kinagamit ko na kasi siya. Tapos, ayan, meron din siyang kasamang sponge. Ayan siya. This one, okay din siyang gamitin. Perfect for everyday wear. Paminsan, ito na lang yung ginagamit ko and hindi na ako nag-liquid foundation. So, okay naman yung coverage nito on my face. Next is their Brow Sculpting Pencil Duo in the shade Taupe. This is a repurchase. Nakabili na ako nito dati. I think pangatlong bili ko na ito ngayon. And this retails for 249 pesos. So, ito siya. Ito yung product. Meron siyang, ito yung mismong eyeliner on one side. And on the other side, meron siyang spoolie. If you haven't tried this one, I highly suggest na itry nyo because this one is super nice. So these two are the Belky Cosmetics Long Lasting Gel Eyeliner in the shade Brown and Maple. So ayan siya, medyo magkamukha siya. Tapos wala siyang name. So hin mahirap siyang i-categorize kung alin ba siya dito. So pakita ko sa inyo to. This one is the pencil part. Ayan siya. Yan yung pencil niya. And then Meron siyang smudge tip on the other side. Plus, pag tinanggal mo siya, ayan o, that one, meron rin siyang sharpener. Pag gusto mo na precise, na parang pointed yung tip nito, pwede mo siyang i-sharpen here. Okay, so another product that I've got is from their Collector's Edition, which is the BLK Travels. So this one, it's so cute. Look at this. Ito, medyo matagal ko na itong nabili. Ayan siya. Meron siyang kasamang tatlong mini lipsticks inside. This is Manila, Australia, South Africa, New Zealand, Dubai, and Hong Kong. Ayan siya. Hindi ko na i-open isa-isa kasi... Masyado nang hahaba yung video natin. So, ayan siya. Meron siyang mga mini lipsticks inside. And ito, ito yung bagong nirelease niya. I think, two boxes yung nirelease niya. So, take dalawang shades. So, bale, four shades. This one is Paris and Los Angeles. So, ito na lang i-open ko para sa inyo. This one is Collector's Edition. And, ayan siya o. Oh. Look at that. Ang cute. Ito yung parang for me, ito yung pinaka-cute. Kasi it's violet and it's pink. This one is red. Ang shade niya is Paris. Look at that too. Mali. Los Angeles. Wait lang. Ito yung pink. Ito gusto ko yung shade nito. Ayan siya. Ang maganda dito sa lipstick ni Anne is cruelty free siya at saka long wearing. And so okay, so malapit na tayong matapos guys.
Now, let's move on to Happy Skin. Starting off with Happy Skin's collaboration with Heart Evangelista. Yung box nito nandun sa closet ko. So, hindi ko na siya kukunin. Ito na lang yung ipapakita ko sa inyo. This is their collaboration with Heart Evangelista or Love Marie. So, ang shade nito is Skinny Dipping. Yan siya. Nude. And... Heart Trub. Ayan, red siya. So, next are these Happy Skin Kiss Proof Milky Lip and Cheek Tint in the shades Honeymoon Glow and Under the Sheets. So, itong Honeymoon Glow, ito na lang yung iswatch natin. So, ganyan din siya, oh. Ayan yung wand niya and ito yung swatch niya. Yung swatch niya. Hindi ko pa rin natatry ito sa lips ko tsaka sa cheeks ko. Um, balitaan ko kayo on how will this work on me. Sana okay siya kasi parang gusto ko yung formulation niya. Next product from Happy Skin is this All Eyes on You Eyeshadow Palette Honeymoon Glow Edition. Ito matagal ko na itong gustong bilhin kaya lang hindi ko siya mabili-bili kasi nanghihinayang ako kasi hindi naman ako mahilig mag eyeshadow. So ayan siya. Ang nice tong packaging niya kasi dito sa back merong parang cheat sheet na parang this one for night out, everyday, and for special occasion. Kaya lang natakpan nitong price. So, ang price is 1,099 pesos. Open natin. Okay, so ito na siya, yung mismong palette. Ayan. Ayan, so may cheat sheet din pala dito sa loob. This one is champagne, sepia, honeymoon glow, and calligraphy. So, itong cheat sheet niya, nabubulol ako. So, itong cheat sheet niya, meron kang three looks na pwedeng magawa. Night out, everyday, and special occasion. So, ayan siya. Meron naman siyang steps kung paano and kung alin dito yung gagamitin mo. Pero, syempre, pwede ka rin namang mag-create ng own way mo kung paano mo gagamitin tong eyeshadow palette na to. Products that I've got from Watson's are these Pond's Powder. This one is the Pond's Magic Powder. BB yung nakalagay. And it says, Translucent powder with smooth and fine BB for perfectly smooth skin to blur out the pores and block spots. Try natin siya. Pag nilagay mo siya sa hand mo, watch ko ah. Yung powder niya, may color. Yung mismong powder niya, it's not color white. Para siyang peach. Parang natural color. So, ayan. Pag nilagay mo sa face mo, bango niya. Ayan, yung BB. So, yun yung BB powder. So, this one naman, Pond's Insta Bright Tone Up Milk Powder. So, ito naman i-open natin. Itong Tone Up Milk Powder nila is like yung ordinary powder na color white. Ayan siya. Magkaiba sila ng amoy. Mas mabango si BB. For me, ah, mas like ko yung set ni BB. Si BB naman, para siyang ma-orange na ma-brown. May color siya eh, parang color natural. Ganun yung color niya. That's all for today and sana nag-enjoy kayo. If you like this video, I hope you could give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment kung meron kayong videos na gustong ipagawa sa akin and sana i-share nyo din sa mga friends nyo. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.